Trying to make things safe for the wild horses is part of what we do when we set up these salt stations with the cameras. You know, we attract the horses in here for the salt, of course, and uh, we want to make sure that we're not leaving an environment where they're poking out their eyes and all that kind of stuff. Now this is kind of interesting. That's steel over there in the back with white spirit. And they actually see us coming on horseback. This was a ride we did uh, about a week ago or so and we rode for about uh, five hours that day and one of the places we stopped was at the winter barn here to see who was around. When we pulled in we had uh, a number of horses here including White Spirits Band. Once they heard my voice uh, then they realized it was okay but they were certainly nervous when we first pulled in with the horses. This is actually uh, us looking for Freddy and he found us right here. So I had to get off my horse and feed him, of course. There's uh, Debbie Jabot with her leopard appy. He's a pretty amazing horse, that one. So anyway, we uh, managed to feed the squirrels and uh, get a few cameras straightened up, move the salt blocks back, and Dwight didn't do much, but he rode along with us anyway. Malibu? Malibu's dead. That's Misty. Misty. Yeah. yeah. Malibu's dead. So folks, here's a really neat story. This uh, lady, Stevie, uh, she messaged me over a year ago and said that her and her hubby wanted to come up here for a vacation uh, in September 2023. So they came all the way from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's hardly yet. Hi, Hanson. Where did I How you doing, buddy? Hey, buddy. How I'm are you? I'm coming anywhere towards you. I'm going sideways. Her biggest dream was to come up here and find White Spirit. We got steel in the back and Harley. And we were able to find White Spirit that day, right at the end of the day. <laughs> yep. Oh. Look at Max. Yeah, there's Max in real. Oh. Talking to Harley. Oh my, this is going to be. And look at Misty, how big she's getting. She is. <laughs> That's two big boys, huh? Good girl. Now you can imagine the big smile I had behind her. Oh, Mom, that's, that's uh, White Spirit's mayor. Hello, Misty. Look at that. What are they doing over there? Misty. Mm -hmm. Hey, Spirit. That's Misty. Hello, Misty. You're getting big, sweetie. So when we arrived, we actually found Steel sparring and jousting with Harley, of all things. And they were having quite a time. They were actually quite playful, but certainly being stallions. But you know, we, we drove around all day for 25 miles before we actually found more than three horses. <clears throat> we just did 25 miles looking for them. Oh, no. Sandy Sharkey came out here for five years in a row before she ever got to see White Spirit. But this was Stevie's dream. How you doing, buddy? How special is that for oh. him? You got him right close to you. Hey, how special is that for Stevie? Oh. See, that's his mom right there, eh, Serena? With the oh, long yeah, mane. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's why he walked over there. 
That little baby has roamed out so much. Yeah. It was raining actually pretty good on us at this point. We have here. Hey, bud. That hey, bud. So nice. Yeah. But because we were having such fun with the horses, nobody really noticed. Yeah, he's 25 feet from you. Hey, look at you, you big. I know, look at you coming come right in. Come on. Yeah, come with us. We're not going to fuss if you come yeah. closer. Yeah, you want to come with us, don't you? Nobody's going to fuss hey, if you come closer. Hey, and then coming over, too. That's it. Nice baby. Oh, you come on, buddy. Wait, hold your hand. Is it, this is Butch. Is this Butch? Yeah, it is Butch. Brutus wouldn't sit in your hand like oh, that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But he's definitely been in a scrap, so he's pretty nervous yeah. about what's going on right now. Who did that to you? Yeah. Who did that to you? Hey, look, that cross hair right there. It probably is. Yeah, it is. So how sweet is that? That is too hey? sweet. One thing you're missing is a paw's hat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Meanwhile, back at the bridge, we have our pack of wolves showing up right in the daylight. And did you notice the one missing his tail? That's uh, something new. I don't know how he lost it, but now, of course, we can easily recognize him. And this was the whole pack. They were uh, showing up at, uh, well, let's see what time it is. That's 8 o'clock at night, actually. But they had just been down by the winter barn. In fact, here is the uh, meadow right by the winter barn, and we see them heading over towards there. But you know what? We were just on our way over to see these horses at the end of the meadow, and I found a trail camera. And it was all chewed up. So we got home, and unloaded that SD card to see who the culprit was. And I think we have a pretty good idea. This guy had quite a time chewing that up, but there it went onto the ground and now he's on walkabout back to his playground. camera's on a trip. And boy, I gotta tell you, it was chewed up pretty good. Those teeth sure did a number on the trail camera. Here he is on walkabout again. You can see the rest of the pack out there. So he's just following the pack. And the camera's still rolling. Here we are on walkabout again. We've got to make another mile. <laughs> and this camera just keeps rolling with them all the way. <laughs> I'm surprised the rest haven't come over to help them, but they're out there. How about that, folks? And we uh, have a few other critters moving around in the night, and this uh, mother cat, she's down to one uh, cub now, and uh, I'm not sure what happened to the other one. She did have two, but uh, I suspect this is the group that probably took down that little horse that the wolf was carrying the leg from. And here's Fritz. Fritz is always out hunting at night. But this was kind of interesting. I didn't realize it until I looked a little closer. Francine is there too. We got the pair of them and she's saying, where have you been? Yeah, he left her alone. And don't forget, we got Mitch the Moose 
he's out there too. Now about another month and a half or so, uh, hunting season's going to be open, so he's going to have to be careful. And then we have uh, all kinds of other critters that there's a, a, a deer visiting Goliath spot, and here's Barney walking down our uh, Samson Trail. So he's out and about. And then uh, right close by, we got Samson walking up into this salt station. Now he's still got his two ladies with him. I think they're just down the hill a little bit. In fact, he won't be very far from them before he gets concerned, like right about there. And this is Baby Flash. I, that's, I don't really have a name for him. I just kind of said to Barb one time, he's got that little flash on his forehead, and it kind of stuck. So I think we'll just call him Flash. It's a bit recognizable. Now, I did ask Dwight if he wanted to come out and help today, and he said, well, are we hauling salt? And I said, yeah, we are. He says, well, I'm feeling kind of bad today. So he stayed home. Oh, here's an interesting entry from White Spirits Band. That's Serena with the long mane. That's Steele's mom. Middle Bear right behind her. And then we have uh, another couple of bands over here. This is Trojan and Tia running off Magnum. I guess they didn't want him on that salt block. But look at Magnum's bum after he got all ripped up there about a month back. So even though it looks awful, it's really not bothering him and he will have a scar for sure. And this is Grayson with his two mares. Grayson is a white spirit uh, uh, son. And this is him again over in the winter barn. Now, Trojan, I would not mess with Colonel. I don't think you would win that fight, buddy. He's a pretty tough stallion. And here's our brand new little uh, Dark Bay Fall. This was on September 2nd, so we're pretty confident that uh, it's still around. There's Samson. We call this Samson's trail now because he, oh, look at this. He was just uh, moving out of a black bear's way. The creek sure looks different now without Chucky and Cherry around, doesn't it, folks? Now this band here, if you notice, Mom and the uh, Colt and the, the Foal all have the same blazes. Really interesting for sure. You always get some beautiful color here at the creek and uh, these baby uh, deer, they're going to be losing their spots pretty soon, I expect. We often see them playing there in the creek. Oh, look at this. That's our friend Paddy Defoe. Now, steel. Steel is starting to feel like a stallion. Like I said, we just saw him sparring with uh, Harley and even Max. And now he's with another one of these resident stallions here, behaving like a stallion. And that's probably gonna get him run off pretty soon because he's gonna be out there looking to tie up with another band somewhere when he gets kicked out. But he'll end up like Major in some of the rest where he'll spend a year or two running around with some bachelors before he gets himself his own mares. This is Bill's band and I wonder what is going on here now. Everybody's in a hurry to get across the meadow. That was Maverick's band. Whenever you see Maverick, you're going to see these two tag-alongs not far behind. Oh, here comes Harley and his baby. And there's the other mare. I was just going to say, where is she? 
And then White Spirits Band, that was Max, Middlemare, Mariah, Misty, Serena, Steele, and the old timer himself, 22 years old, old White Spirit. Off to the winter barn. Up at the other end of the valley, have a look out in that field, folks. That's frost out there. Yeah, that's frost. My goodness, August 21st, it says. And this is Shadow. And that little gray filly is uh, Aurora. Now, this is pretty interesting here. This is the social media pile. This is the message center. And this big old stallion says, you know what? I'm just going to come in here and drop a comment. Oh, that's a long comment. Wow. I think he had lots to say. Ah, and then this roan says, not in your life. You're not getting in there first. This is my pile. So he says, I'm going to drop a little message here to counteract this long one. So he thinks that's his pile now, but this is Maverick's mares. There's Marshall, Ringo, and Magnum. And coming right up behind is Maverick, of course, and he's going to say, I'm going to fool you all because actually this is my pile. I'm going to leave the final word. <laughs> this is up at Goliath Station. We haven't seen him for a couple of weeks. And there's the mare and her little colt with the, the blaze. And there's another shot back in the winter barn with some sleepy horses. But look at this polite standoff. Now, how polite was that? Our handsome lad, Shadow. And a sleepy Grayson. I can't get enough of these shots where they're just chilling and sleeping and resting. It's just so nice to see them not being chased or harassed or challenged. And then Flash and his band, they're about oh, five miles from where we saw them last, down here at Goliath Station. And then we find them back up at the north end of the valley again, and it's obvious that they make some miles. And with the sun setting at Apollo's spot, that leads us into a little bit of a sad story here again with our injured mare who's not really doing that well. So folks, remember, she's a wild horse in the wild. This happens. And because we're Hawes, we show you the good and the bad. Now, we've been watching her for over a month now. She looks terrible, but she does manage to stay with this band. I think they might wait for her. I know this bothers you all, but for crying out loud, folks, don't bombard us now with the comments about all the things we should be doing. We've been doing this now for 10 years and we make decisions based on circumstances every single time individually. And this particular mare is still getting around. She still deserves to live. We actually saw her get bred, so she's still being a horse. What happens to her next is up to mother nature.
If I ever find her down and can't get up, then I'll do something different. Well, you've been watching this for a couple of years now with Samson running back and forth on these trails, always behind a mare or two. It's just what he does. It's Trojan. And our massive white stallion, Sterling and Stella. Now folks, this is Belle's little filly. And just today, just making this video, I decided to name her. And we're going to call her Bonita, which in Spanish or Portuguese means pretty. And I certainly think she fills the bill. So welcome Bonita. And this is Harley's baby and we'll get around to putting a name on on uh, her pretty soon as well. I'm not in a rush on that one. Uh, Patty Defoe named Harley's last baby and it was called Hayes, but it only lasted for a few days. Hey, this is Flynn's band. Flynn is the one on the far right here, the little colt, and that was his little brother. And way up here in the pines is Vincent and Orion. And they're having trouble hanging on to their salt station. They're getting too many visitors. So they're gonna get out of the way now because the rest of that crew is coming in from behind. Whoops, you all know what that means, folks. Two minute warning. Well, this is a little longer than usual for our videos and I know uh, lots of folks don't watch them when they're this long, but I also know lots of you folks sit back on the couch or uh, whatever and enjoy watching these on the big screen. So I will put this one up on YouTube as well in case you have friends that don't watch Facebook. It takes quite a while to upload them, so I'll get it up sometime later tonight. And this little filly is also with Bell's Band and Benita. And she was uh, mm. a later foal than Benita, so she's a little bit smaller. But she's just got that one little wee spot on the forehead. And here's what Buck looks like now. And uh, as you can all see, that massive ugly looking wound is really starting to heal and close up and this is what we know about wildies they are so resilient for healing yeah mom needs a fly swatter so might as well take advantage of that well folks we're gonna close off with uh, the mighty sterling don't worry about Stella, she's just right over in front of him. And he'll be following up here right directly. And there's another video put up by Hawes, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one.